Republicans prepare contempt citation against Eric Holder over Fast and Furious. And I was pinching myself. You mean actually going after real justice, just not putting on some show hearings and then doing nothing? Wow. And as if that wasn't good enough, this is part of the twilight zoning of America, but, but, but not just on the bad side, on, on the good side. Stuff's getting crazy. See, when things start getting really bad, you see the best in people and the worst. Separation of the wheat from the chaff. This is the New York Times yesterday. Big story. Terrorist plots hatched by the FBI. And it goes on to say the FBI has manufactured almost every terror threat and has led them and it's fake and it's doing it to get power and take people's liberties. The New York Times. Sounds like Alex Jones. So let me see, CBS News is reporting on contempt charges on the Attorney General caught shipping guns into Mexico, guns back in the United States. Or did I say guns into Mexico, drugs into the United States. And then we've got the New York Times terrorist plots hatched by the FBI. But it only gets crazier from there. Here's WorldNet Daily. I just shot a video. It just went up at InfoWars.com. Breitbart's coroner poisoned to death. The police are investigating. They say he was poisoned. Wow. But wait, it only gets crazier from there on out. We're coming up on the International Luciferian slash Commie Day, May Day, when Obama announced, they're saying because he announced it on a Sunday evening that this is the one-year anniversary, but technically it was on May 1st, so that's coming up in a few days. And they are now announcing that the police are investigating, um, again, not just the suspicious death of Breitbart's coroner, but now the system is rolling out afresh anew the whole hoax on the bin Laden killing front. And I shot another video on that this morning with Seth at InfoWars.com. We're going to be breaking down the 10 facts that prove the bin Laden fable is a contrived hoax as the president moves to use this as his re-election bid, that, that, that he's a tough guy on Al-Qaeda. Now, if the Republicans wanted to destroy Obama, but they can't because they destroy themselves, they'd go, you're using Al-Qaeda in Syria, you're using Al-Qaeda in Iran, you're using Al-Qaeda in Libya, you turn the country over to them, you're putting Al-Qaeda light the Muslim Brotherhood so they can have sex with their wives after they're dead. Uh, that's, that's real. Uh, total lunatics. Uh, you're putting them in charge of Egypt. And they're also announcing war on terror is over, they said last week. A new article out saying Al-Qaeda is gone, but TSA has got to be in your neighborhood sticking their hands down your pants and searching your bags without a warrant because of the terror threat. But that terror threat is all the domestic groups. Look at yourself in the mirror. You don't like foreign banks raising your taxes to pay it to themselves? You're a terrorist. Don't like forced inoculation? You're a terrorist. Like private property? You like George Washington? Literally, they say you're a terrorist. I've got FEMA on tape saying George Washington's a piece of trash because they're the enemy. They're the foreign bankers. Sick of the globalist eugenicist control freaks adding poison to your water and laughing as you get sick and die? Start purifying your water with ProPure. My friends, I've done a lot of research, and the best gravity filter out there, bar none, is ProPure. And it's available discounted at InfoWars.com. Its filters are silver impregnated to prevent bacterial growth. There's no priming required. It's NSF 42 certified. Optional fluoride filters can reduce fluoride up to 95%. Easy to set up and use. Doesn't require electricity. Purify water from lakes, streams, ponds, and wells. This filter system leaves in beneficial minerals, which is key. Save money by not buying bottled water and avoid BPA that leaches from the plastic. ProPure is the best gravity-fed filter out there. It's what my family uses. Infowars.com already has the lowest price on ProPure. But if you add the promo code WATER at checkout, you get an additional 10% off at Infowars.com. You can also call to order 888-253-3139. This is 
is a big live Sunday edition with a lot of good news and a lot of really bad news. But the good news is we know what's happening and the sleeping giant that is America and free humanity worldwide, not just here in the United States or North America. The awakening is happening everywhere against government tyranny and corrupt elites and no amount of police state surveillance will protect the system. We will restore the republic. You know, I confirmed over the weekend that a veteran, what in uh, Montana, 61 years old, was handing out Bible tracts at, uh, and in one of my films, Police State 3, Total Enslavement, and the police came at the VA and told him, we'll basically take your benefits, send Homeland Security to your house. You don't have free speech here. And I've seen other cases and things like this, and the cops didn't, you know, the little federal cops, little security guards, didn't like the fact that it was called police state. And see, there's that ignorance that any amount of government corruption, I mean, they could order our guns turned in tomorrow, you know, 50% tax increases, and if you said you didn't like it, and by the way, this surveilling us with no warrant is a police state, a lot of these so-called police nowadays think that means you don't like them. They think if you say, I don't want a police state, that you hate them personally. And like the police state is their identity. That, that, that tyranny is their identity. But then meanwhile, you've got a lot of police officers and people out there that are aware that the Bill of Rights belongs to you as well. It's very precious, it's very special. It was fought for and paid for in blood. And we're now basically seeing it trampled and removed at an extremely accelerated rate and uh, now it's like oxygen's being taken out of the room you take the freedom the prosperity goes out the door it's kind of like going out on a motorboat to go skiing or something and taking a 50 caliber semi-auto barrett out there with you and firing six or seven holes in the bottom of the boat the boat is going to start taking on water and it's going to end up sinking and you guys in government and the public allowing this to happen and sitting back and just saying, well, they're the officials, they're the authorities, not the public servants. You have allowed this to take place and, and the country is now taking on water very, very fast. Now that's the image of a sinking ship. But another image is a burning house. And now the fire is on all three floors shooting out the windows, the roof is collapsing, and finally some of the public saying, you know what, we might be in a little bit of trouble. And uh, wow, uh, those people that warned us about corrupt government and police states and world government and surveillance, they must have had a point. They must have known what they were talking about. They must have been paying attention when the tyranny was a mile away. See, now the tyranny's already run over us, and now it's got that uh, you know backup sound on, nang, 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 like a trash truck, and it's backing back over us. And I'm like, you know what? I think we ought to change things. Driving into work today, I didn't see one, I didn't see two, I didn't see three, I didn't see four. I saw five Infowars.com bumper stickers driving in the studio this Sunday. But it gets better. I saw dozens. I, could, I, I had to stop counting. I think I saw no other political bumper stickers. I saw dozens of Ron Paul stickers, and I saw uh, a car that said, Vote Rattlesnake 2012 with a big giant... Don't tread on me flag flapping above it. They rigged it where... It was, it was an ingenious thing where, where the flag was flapping in the middle of the car, had like a little teepee over it, and, and, and then it explained that, you know, the rattlesnake represents don't tread on me and what this country was founded on and all these great points, and the car was festooned with stickers. And I was going over to visit my uh, dad before I came over here, uh, my son and I, to get our teeth cleaned. My dad's a dentist, and he comes up, you know, every six months or so on Sunday so he can just focus on us and get that done. And I almost pulled out of the parking lot to follow the person so I could get a photo of the rattlesnake car. Uh, but I bet they're a listener because I was able to see they had a Infowars.com, PrisonPlanet.com, Don't Tread on Me sticker, the one that's got the rattlesnake on it, and they got both the websites. I did spy that with my eyeballs. Uh, and so that person ever sends us a photo of their car, uh, we will uh, Twitter it out at Real Alex Jones. We will tweet it out if you send it to something like Show Tips 
uh, at InfoWars.com. And we're getting reports and photos and videos without even asking for them. So now I'm going to start asking for them from all over the country of people festooning their barns, their businesses, their business signs, uh, sometimes other people's property and government buildings. I'm not saying do that. With InfoWars.com. And I've got friends and family and neighbors. My buddy uh, Shane Steiner the other day, local friend going back to high school years, he uh, tweeted me. No, no, no. He, he texted me a photo that I tweeted out of a guy with a sign plugging the local radio station I'm on uh, in Austin uh, and Infowars.com. And, and then I talked to family and they said, yeah, we saw a couple people and I talked to some crew. I mean, it's just everywhere. This is the explosive grassroots action against tyranny uh, that we're starting to see. As Ron Paul peaks, we realize he won by running and injecting real ideas of libertarian constitutional ideas. But as that begins to crest and then dissipate, dissipation hasn't begun yet, we're going to see it shift into local activism. I like that idea, vote, 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 rattlesnake 2012. And then people are like, well, what does that mean? Well, it means the founding of this country. Let me explain what don't tread on me means. And it's shifting into infowars.com. It's shifting into thousands of people are now shooting videos for infowars.com. We've gotten over 500 entries and hundreds more just came in the last few days. I don't know how I'm going to pick winners for the reporter contest. We're going to hire one male, one female reporter, $10,000 in prizes. But all these other folks are saying, hey, Alex, we don't even care if we win. We want to be correspondents. And I'm like, absolutely. I mean, again, how do you organize something like this? So I'm going to go to break and come back with the good news. And I'm going to come back with the bad news as well. But I just wanted to up front break down the fact that the info war has just begun to rise. And as Ron Paul's always said, he is a focal point of liberty and freedom. And just a lot of people that have, have discovered what he's discovered, tyranny versus liberty, collectivism versus freedom, globalism, fascism, communism versus the republic, that, that the pendulum is beginning to swing. And so everybody out there, realize our time has come. People are ready to now listen. I mean, world government's openly being announced, Agenda 21, global governance, every form of tyranny, People are finally getting it because Ron Paul, myself, and countless others, many of you out there listening today who were alive before I was even born, you were made fun of, you were laughed at, the national dominant corporate whore, uh, Decepticon, uh, enemy sympathizer, New World Order banker media, the cesspool media, the deceptor media, they had air superiority before and could dominate us. Not anymore. And so because you... you you trailblazers out there stood up from day one and spoke out against all this. We've got a real shot at defeating the globalist because we've planted so many seeds for so many decades. And now as everything we talked about begins to unfold exactly as we said it would, our credibility is beyond platinum. The enemy's credibility is like dog droppings at the park. Nobody wants it. It's, it's, it has a negative value. Congress is an high percent approval rating. The mainstream media is in free fall. But danger, the empire is going to strike back with censorship, attacks on talk radio, attacks on uh, alternative news is becoming the dominant news. The system is cornered like a rat. Now, I've told the New York Times and, and all of them, start telling the truth and you'd have an audience again. We're actually starting to see that happen. See, there's nothing like the market to defeat tyrants and centralized systems. CBS, Republicans prepare contempt citation against Eric Holder over Fast and Furious. Let me give you more. The New York Times admits the FBI manufactured all the major terror plots, as I told you years ago, they're all fake. And there's more mainstream news that Al-Qaeda works for the US government. Stay with us. yourselves what are you doing in this time of great challenge what are you doing to unlock minds 